Hi guys, in today's video we're going to look at how to find the rate from a concentration time graph, how half-life is represented, looking at zero order reactions and first order reactions, how to find the rate constant of our first order reactions, and finally we'll look at an exam style question. Now we know that rate is a measure of the change of the concentration of either the product or the reactants with time. And these concentration changes can be measured in a variety of ways, depending on what type of reaction we have. For example, if our reaction involved acids or bases, we can measure the pH change by carrying out titrations or using a pH meter. And if our reaction produced gases, we can measure the change in the volume or the pressure. Now we plot these concentration changes against time, where concentration change is on the y-axis and time is on the x-axis. And because of the way our graph is laid out, the gradient of our graph will represent the rate of the reaction. So here you can see an example graph where we have concentration on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. Now, this graph, interestingly, is a curve, and it's incredibly difficult to find out the exact gradient of a curve. So what we do is we plot tangent lines against the curve. This red line is incredibly steep. It's plotted at t equals zero at the beginning, and it represents the initial rate. This green line over here is much more shallow. It's plotted at t equals 3,000, 3,000 seconds into the reaction. You can see it's the rate much later on in the reaction as the rate has begun to slow down. And the gradient of both of these tangents will give us a representation of rate. So let's have a look at half-life. Half-life is a measure of the time taken for the concentration to decrease by half. And it's represented by this symbol here, t half. And we can actually use half-life to determine which order reaction we have. If we look at a zero order reaction, which has this graph here, this is how a concentration time graph for a zero order reaction will look, the half-life decreases with time. As we move through time, the half-life becomes shorter and shorter. However, if we look at a first order reaction, the half-life is constant. So if we have a look at that now, the concentration starts at 0 0.3. So if we decrease it to 0 0.5, Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.